Ey. Hello, people of God. God bless you. God preserve you. May the light of God shine upon you. Be lifted from the position you are to the next level. I am not here with any teaching. I just want to announce to you the day the time that open heaven and divine mercy will start. But before then, shall we pray? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven, I love your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And then he prayed and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and he does not give the temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. How may the full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. How may the full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and in our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Lord, your word is true. Your word is true. Your word is true. Lord, Lord, your, your word, word is true. true. Thank you, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Thank you, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Thank you, the Master of all hopeless cases. Thank you for your mercy. Receive all the glory, honor, and adoration in Jesus' name. Amen. We ask for your mercy, O Lord, today. Let your mercy come upon you. Forgive your people. And let the light shine upon your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we pray for your grace and anointing upon us. Especially now we have entered into Lent. That you will give your people grace to observe this Lenten period very well. And to stay away from sin. Grace to overcome lying. Grace to overcome immorality. Grace to overcome masturbation. Grace to overcome lesbianism. Grace to overcome homosexuality. Grace to overcome weakness in prayer. Grace of righteousness and holiness. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And we, we paralyze and we shame all the enemies 
working against your people from the east, west, north, and south, the enemies of Nigeria. We bind them hands and feet in the name of Jesus. Amen. Those that queue into the wealth of this country and refuse to be satisfied. May you begin to retire them spiritually and physically. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And we cover Nigerians with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus, my name we pray. Amen. God bless you. So, people of God, without wasting your time at all, at all, at all. Before I announce to you when we are starting open heaven and divine mercy, I want to find out how is the election going on in your side. Is people watching? Are they listening to me? We pray for Nigeria. And uh, somebody like me, we are doing everything possible to encourage you to vote. And we, which we are doing everything to encourage all our members all the branches of Zion, Zion minister, both in Lagos, outside Lagos, to vote, which I am not particularly out from voting. But we are doing everything to encourage everybody to vote. And not just to vote, but to make sure that your vote counts. I told people yesterday, no, not yesterday. Few, my last broadcast that I don't. I pray that the election will not be manipulated. I told people that there is nothing the politicians cannot do. The only thing Nigeria politicians cannot do is to give life. Minus that, they can do anything. I pray that people's mandates will not be stolen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There has not been a time like this. What is happening in Nigeria now is to be compared to what happened in 1993. What is happening in Nigeria today, I mean today, what is happening in Nigeria is exactly what happened in the year 93. When the whole country when people put their differences aside, people put their differences aside, people put tribe They are tribe this is my tribe man, this is my... People put it aside. People put nepotism aside. People put tribalism aside. People came together singing the song of one person. I pray that the mandate of the people will not be stolen. Mm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Before David was anointed, Saul dealt with people. Saul dealt with people before David came. I pray that the David of this country today, may that David live. May he not die. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Since I was born, I was born in this country. I was not born in outside the country. I was born in Anambra State. Grew up in Imo State. I was born in Anambra State, but I grew up in Imo State. I've never seen a time in the history since I was born today. I've never seen a time people from different angles, from different states, from different tribes. 
I've never seen a time they gather like this to vote. Do you know some places, even around some places, the I know that what do you call them? I know said there is no ink. People went and bought ink with their money. Some area because the the, the I know people came very late. The voting was going on night came. People went and bought generator on it. I've never seen a time people gather like this. May God never allow people's money to be stolen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May God sweep any evil man that wants to steal someone's mind. Amen. May that person never live to see that place. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. People have suffered. I've been preaching about this for a long time. That the youth must get up and take over their country. I've been preaching about it. Somebody cannot be a slave in his own country. What is happening now? The hand of God has gone out. Nobody can retrieve it. Amen. No matter the manipulation, the will of God and the will of people must take place. Amen. Amen. So I want to encourage those, some people who are beaten. I saw a lady that was beaten with the blood. She went to the hospital and still did come back to, to vote. We have never experienced this spirit for a long time. So I'm praying for God to take over because most people that are rich don't know what the problem are passing through in this country. When I was small then, do you know people are, nobody can have, how many people can afford one bag of rice? One bag of rice now is about something thousand. I know when, during the time of President Good Lord Jonathan, one bag of rice was 7,000, 8,000. Now it's 37, 38,000. So we have to, we are praying and we are working hard. We are voting. He can't buy, he can't be able to buy tomato. Onions is very hard. Pepper is hard. Minimum wage of the people are not paid. My parents, my both parents are teachers. They're all retired teachers. Their minimum wage have not been paid. Till today, for years, A nation you can't even travel to your own state. You know, I told them that there will be a time. Everybody must wake up, and that is what is happening now. If you go to Kuwait yesterday, if you go to Lake, if you go to Aja, most of the big men that, that are not even involved in the election, all of them came out. Some people with BB Tommy, they all came out yesterday and be voting. Because what is happening now is affecting the poor and also affecting the rich. Nobody is free. In a country where there is no good school, if you don't have money now to put your children in government in private school, your, your name is sorry. A country that no good hospital. A, a, a place you can rush your loved one in the hospital, they will tell you that the doctors are on strike. Government on strike. Was it not a few months ago that our university student just asked our student just to come back to school after almost one year of staying at home in an oil producing company? Almost one year, our university student just to come back to school. Because the election is coming. So, what is happening now? We are praying. People are doing this. People came out using their money to hire a generator, using their money to buy ink. It has never happened in the history of Nigeria. You, 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 you it's not possible to beat your child and expect your child not to cry. And you cannot push somebody and expect that person not to fall. What is happening now is that everybody is tired of Nigeria. 
So people are looking for. What can we do that will make us, that will give us good company? A country where you can experience good road. Do you know, since I was born, any, any, every place that they will promise I will do road, road has become a, um, road has become a, a political, go to other country. Road is not one of the things of campaign promises. Because road is necessary. It's one of the things government should do. It's the work of the government. But in Nigeria here, I will do road. Road is not one of the things for campaign. Because road is one of the primary work of the government to put the road in order. In, we are giant of Africa. Ghana celebrated how many years of steady electricity. In the whole Africa, both Tanzania, Togo, all of them, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Angola. Mention all the African countries. All of them experience steady electricity. Only Nigeria. It's only in Nigeria you will see one hour, just one hour electricity. Light will just come. All the whole children in the street. What you will not hear about for the next ten minutes. Up never, up never, up never. For just one hour electricity. We are in a big mess. But God will turn the hand of the clock around. Amen. A country cannot be proud. Do, do you know? Anybody that tell you I'm proud of Nigeria, that person don't know what he's saying. That means you're benefiting from the corrupt government. Nobody, no reasonable person will say I'm proud of Nigeria. That you, you are doing well as an individual and the majority are suffering does not make you wealthy. Because of some people who are doing well. But check times of people that are not in school. How many people have money to buy pure water and bottle water? That is why every, every time go to our hospitals, malaria, malaria, because the water that people are drinking are not good. I know those days I was small. Government, government we use their hand to make sure that the water is flowing everywhere. Good borehole. Now, if you don't have money to buy pure water or bottled water, you will be treating malaria every week. In an oil producing country. Many people have sold their soul to the devil. Even as the election is going on, you will see some of them planning how to read the election. So that the suffering will continue. So that the intimidation will continue. So that the killings will continue. We are in a time that you cannot travel to your village again. If you are traveling on the road. How many people still travel on the road? And how many people can afford flight money? Nigeria is in a big mess. Very big mess. I told them we have not been won. It was the year 1914 that one man called Lugard came in the year 1914. A man called Lugard came and said, oh, people from the east, people from the west, people from the north, come and become Niger area. Niger area. A country that is divided with a lot of things. We are so divided. Religiously, tri tribe, we are divided. This is the first time people of Nigeria are coming together to take their country. Because violence taken it by force. So I pray that people's humanity will not be stolen. Mm -hmm. Because so far, Nigeria is concerned. Politicians can do undo. May God have mercy upon this country. Amen. I pity Nigeria, my fellow Nigerians. Hunger everywhere. You will see some people, they will dress well and put, uh, put hand in the pocket with very nice clothes. You will know they are beggars on the road. It is when you come across them, they will tell you, oh boy, find something for so, Nigeria makes some people. That was why when they said they want to ban horn, vehicles not to be honing, there was time ahead that they want to stop every vehicle with horn. If you stop vehicle from honing in Nigeria, in Lagos, people will be dying every minute because some people suffering and the trouble of Nigeria has entered their brain. 
Some people say, very, motor will be hundred. Pa, 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 pa. You see them talking to themselves. Talking about when you, when you burn, when you remove. So the, the people have life. People are living in Nigeria. Sometimes when I see people that things are okay for, they are keeping quiet. If things are okay for you today, what of your children? What of your children's children? Do you know the policy that will affect them tomorrow? I know God wants to do something. God really wants to do something. And it's already happening. Anybody that can read the handwriting on the wall, we know that God is up to something. This election is first of its kind. If we get it wrong, we have Nigeria is done. If Nigeria will last, if Nigeria will last more than 10 years as a country, if we get it wrong, it will not last more than one year, two years ago. Because people are fed up. A country where graduates cannot walk. A country where people will come out every day, every year, they will wear their youth copper clothes. That, will, that, will, that after wearing it is over. You will see many graduates, mechanical engineers, riding on cattle, kicking a bell. We must pray. I've been encouraging my people to vote and to defend their vote. And I'm impressed with what I'm seeing. Even though there are some violence going on in some states, which I believe that I am I need we look into it. This time around, somebody's supposed to do something and give legacy. To do the right thing, not to look at not to look at the face of anybody. Because one day everybody will face a corruptible judge. Uh, one day power will not remain with you forever. I watched President Good Luck Jonathan. He was saying that. He was eight years as a governor and deputy. In Asoro, he was in Asoro for like eight years too. Two years as a um, vice president and two years as a, to complete your, your President Yora Dua tenure, and four years. So I listened to his interview, he said he was eight years as a governor and deputy. In Africa, he spent eight years, but today he's an ordinary citizen. Nothing lasts forever. Power will come and go. Money will come and go. The day you die, they will not bury you with any money. So I'm still praying for Nigeria. I'm praying for those in authority to do the right thing. At least let the citizen smile. Many people are dying because they cannot afford medical. Ordinary paracetamol. So many people are dying because there is no money. Students are not going to school because there is no money. Things are very high. Tomato is high. Rice is high. Things. Gary, how can poor man survive in Nigeria today? How can an ordinary man survive? The country is too hard that ordinary man cannot survive. We, I pray for the Nigerian youth. I pray for everybody that God will give us what is rightly belongs to us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In, the, in the effort to salvage the country, everybody must put one or two efforts. Or oh, you cannot be at your home. Melanie will miss your home now. You cannot be on your, in your home drinking beer. So, Jebego, oh, Jebego. May God bless all of you. Amen. I want to announce to you that we are going to start Open Heaven tomorrow, 11 p.m. p.m. Open Heaven and Divine Mercy by prayer. Tomorrow being more the right. It is tomorrow open heaven, or next tomorrow open heaven, I will announce to you when we are going to start physical gathering. Physical gathering. Let's watch and see what is going to happen. I don't want to risk any member for any reason. For now, let, let them announce who is the president first. So we are watching today, tomorrow. Let them announce. Let's know if there will be any reactions.
with authority now. Everybody, nobody knows what is going to happen. So, but open heaven and divine mercy will start tomorrow. God bless you as you share this post. Remember, I love you so much. Remember, I pray for you seven times every day, especially those that belong to a group. That, that is why sometimes people receive miracles without knowing that it's coming from somewhere. That a man like Abu can lie on a stone almost every night for you, for your sake. So far, you registered in any of our platform. I pray for you seven times every day. May God bless you and preserve you. And may the angels guide you. So as open heaven starts, every day we will try to release one teaching. Maybe 10 minutes or 5 minutes teaching. God bless you all. Please, does anybody want to ask me any question? Can you just chop down one or two questions before I close? But I pray in the name of Jesus, before your question, that any agenda, any attempt to read this election, may God never allow that plan to work in Jesus' name. Amen. And let the Lord scatter that agenda. Amen. Let that person scatter. Amen. Let that agenda scatter. Amen. As many of them that gather in any way, if there is any attempt to read this question, may he not stand and actually come to pass. Amen. The Holy Ghost. Fire. 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 Fire. The Holy Ghost. Fire. 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 And God bless you. Whoever God wants and whoever people voted for, may nothing stop that person. Amen. Amen. I mean, may God rise in a way that human effort will be useless. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Any effort to put the wrong person will not stand. Amen. Neither shall it come to pass. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I answer one or two questions before I leave you to prepare for divine message tomorrow and open heaven? Everything, every, all the online programs start from tomorrow. Divine mercy, 3 p.m. and open heaven, 11 p.m. Remember very well that we are already in the Lenten period. Time of, of grace. A time of grace. Time of holiness. And let people know, announce this everywhere that the divine mercy will start tomorrow, both open heaven. 3 p.m. divine mercy, 11 p.m. open heaven. And share it, tell the world so that people will follow us because it's not everybody. We did not even announce this broadcast. So, no, it's not everyone that knows this announcement right now. Let the whole groups, let them know. Is there any question there? Yes, uh, a couple of people are asking when they can start group booking and consultation. The group booking, we I will hold a meeting to, tomorrow. I'm hoping tomorrow is what Monday. I'm hoping tomorrow to decide with the leaders, the African leaders, like the admin managing African groups like Anambra, Emo, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Gabon. to join group, the numbers are not connecting. No, the numbers are connecting now. The, the number, do you know what happened? Eh? After this program now, if people can drop those inquiry line and drop prayer line, let people know. If you, if you are calling prayer line for inquiry, they will not talk to you. That one is strictly, if there is emergency, you call that line, they will pray for you. Then the inquiry line is there. Those inquiry line is where you will you will send your number and location. Sometimes you will not send, send the number, okay, this is my number, I base in Dubai. He send it on those numbers, it's all WhatsApp. They will forward it to your admin and your admin will add you. We have received a report and have told the admin to be, to continue to do their work. They are trying. That is the only way. Those are our numbers, we will post it on our page. This particular page is not when you now you go, you will go and listen to those that will post with the fake Zion page. One number you will think is there is that one. No, there are so many pages that is fake. This particular line that I'm going live with is where they will drop it. Some of you have those lines. Or if you're already in a group, get it from your group so that there will be no mistake. Someone is asking a question. How about the um, the single sisters program we've been doing before? Yeah, well, I'm, the single sisters and brothers. Yes. I'm going to resume it. When when we gather, when we announce physical gathering, I will announce it to be once in a month. That the, all the single brothers 
and single sisters will come together. Many, many have married through that prayer. May God bless you all. May God bless you. May God bless you. Amen. Let's watch how the program will start tomorrow. Divine mercy and open heaven. It is well with you. Amen. I pray, may the Lord bring healing to you. Amen. If you are watching and you are in need of healing, receive your healing. Amen. If you are in need of deliverance, you are delivered. Amen. You are favored. Amen. You are lifted. Amen. When others say that it's a casting down, you will say that it's a victim. Amen. May God give Nigeria victory in this election. Amen. God give Nigeria victory. Amen. The Nigerians from the north, Nigerians from the east, west, and south, they have gathered together. God give them victory. Amen. God, I lift my hand, I decree. Any man or woman that wants to manipulate this election, may the person not leave. And, and hear his name be mentioned as a woman. Amen. In the name of J E S U S. Jesus. I cover the blood of Jesus. Of Jesus. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Surely. Lord, goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Many grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet worship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. We fly to your bed. O Holy Mother of God, despise not our prayers and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers. O ever glorious and blessed Virgin Mary. Well, no, 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 no.